Welcome everyone, this is Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines in Grand Junction, Colorado. I am going to go through some of the features that Baby Lock and Brother have as far as what media you can use for getting your designs from a CD, a floppy disk even, and the memory cards. So the upper end Baby Locks and Brothers, like the Meridian, the Solaris, the Destiny, will accept media directly from a driver like a floppy driver. Remember these guys? And remember those guys? Well, <laughs> these actually will work on the Meridian and the machines I mentioned, like the uh, Luminaire and such. So we're just gonna put our floppy in, kind of brings back some old memories from me, hearing the little uh, clicks and movements, and then I have it plugged in to the first USB uh, port, so I'm going to touch it. It's not a fast media, but I can feel it working. It says wait a while, and uh, they're so polite. Let's just wait a while and see what uh, comes up. You need to make sure that your floppy disk has PES format. PEC or PCS, excuse me, PCS will not uh, translate to the sewing machine. So make sure there's PES format on the floppy. So we can grab a cup of coffee and uh, walk around the house while it's uh, uploading. Uh, I just tried this a minute or two ago, so I know it works. I'm feeling it reading, so we're still waiting. Speaking of coffee, oh, looky here. We have Christmas ornaments. So these might be some lost favorites of yours. You don't have to go have somebody transfer them from a uh, floppy disk to a USB stick for you. You can take them right off of here. So if I wanted to pick this guy, it's still working. It's not going to let me pick it until it, it uh, is transferring. There we go. Very cute design. So there are some old designs, some old favorites. So I'm not going to stop there. We are going to... Uh, get back to home. It's okay to I'm gonna go back to embroidery. If you have a, a mouse that has a USB connector, not a wireless mouse, you can plug it into the lower um, port there and then you have a mouse that actually will work. I'm gonna use this. So find one of those old drawers that has a mouse in it and then you can use it. So on the upper port now how many of you remember these guys, these little memory cards? Uh, most of them are PES format. And if you've got one of these card readers from Brother or Baby Lock that has a USB, don't try to get a connector that changes it from the serial to USB. It won't work. So it has to be a USB uh, original. I'm going to put that right in there. Put our card in. And then touch the... Uh, port which the uh, media is in and I can see it blinking there so it's working again not another speedy media but uh, here in a second we'll see what's in that particular card um, this seems to be animals and such so we have a zebra there so you know there's still good designs out there these are mostly going to be four inch by four inch designs because that's all that the most of this media ever the machines could do all right, now here's the one that might mean a lot to all of us. I'm gonna go back to home and go back to embroidery. We probably have tons of CDs with designs on them. And I have a lot of customers that are USB challenged. They cannot figure out how to get this design onto USB and then put the USB stick into the sewing machine training and everything else it just is beyond them so what you do is you don't get a fancy one but you go get a usb um i like the lg brand and it's a dvd writer so it's just a ultra slim portable dvd writer don't get a fancy one the 14 or 20 dollar ones work better and it, uh, some of them I, that are really fancy take drivers that these guys don't have installed. So this one was just uh, 
that model. I found it on eBay for about $15. So all we do is plug this guy in. He's a little quicker. And it's plugged into that port. We're going to put a CD in there. Make sure, sure your CD has PES designs on it, otherwise it'll read and not find anything. And then I'm hearing it kind of find things spinning in there. And this is a timing thing. If you press it too soon, it's going to say media is not available. And I believe I probably pressed it too soon because it hadn't had a chance to totally figure out what was there. So I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and then touch the port it's in. And you just have to go back and forth a couple times to make sure your timing's right. I know this worked because I did it earlier. I'm going to give it a second. It's all still reading it, so the machine is having to see what's on that CD. All right, so I'm going to... It, it, I can feel it quit working now. It says, wait a while. Okay. Now I feel silly because it just worked this morning, a minute ago. So let's see if we have to have it plugged in first and then put the CD in. So you might have to experiment to see which way your CD and your sewing machine communicate but uh, it's a great way to not have to take your CD to a computer find the designs you want put it on a USB stick and then put the USB stick into your sewing machine so let's give it a second here see if it all works because it's got it and I can still feel it you know it's it's spinning in there sometimes you can see the lights working And just give it a, a minute or two, but uh, and occasionally, because I've had so many different medias in here, um, I'm going to try the other port. Actually, the top port's supposed to be the fastest. I'm going to let it finish its spinning process here one more time, because this is going to happen to you at home. So, if it happened perfect on this video. Uh, you wouldn't know how to troubleshoot it, so it, it's good that we have you know, trouble here making it work out. So I'm going to wait till I feel it totally quit spinning. Maybe uh, lay it flat. And still can hear it going. I'm not sure if the machine is actually reading the designs and such on that or if it's just finding it as a device. So let's see what we get here. The machine's thinking a second. Let's give it a while. And earlier today, it just populated all the different designs that were in there. And it's really not looking for designs right now. I got to make sure this works because this is uh, one I'm getting set up for a customer, and she does own. She just just purchased the Meridian, and uh, wants to make sure this works before she brings it home. And you know what you do when all else fails is we reboot. I'm just going to go back to home. Turn it off. Let's see if rebooting helps. Trust me, you're going to run into this problem. And if you don't know how to kind of troubleshoot it, uh, it's really frustrating. So we're letting the machine boot up. I'm going to go to our Brody mode. Let's see what we get here. Ha, it's a, a magic reboot. 
So it actually is reading everything on the CD. You have EXP, JEF. So we want to pick the PES folder. And there we go. We have all the designs that are on that CD. So hopefully me having to go through the troubleshooting will help you in the future. And uh, go out and pick yourself up. Or if you have one of these that almost all your new laptops do not include a DVD or a CD writer anymore. So it's not a bad device to have just to go with your laptop. So that's Jeff at High Fashion Sewing. Remember to uh, subscribe and uh, if you have any questions please give us a uh, contact at jpvlefty at aol.com. Yes I've had my email for quite a while. Thanks much. Bye.